So what are your what are your what are your fears um, with getting sober? I don't want to deal with what I've seen, and I, I don't I don't know how. The only way I've ever known how is to go, hey, alcohol, here, slap a Band-Aid on it. Right. Oh, heroin, here, slap a Band-Aid on it. Let's just push it away as long as I can, then I never have to deal with it. So what do you mean by demons? Like, what do you think is going to come up um, as you get sober? Like, all the <laughs> shit that you did in your life, or what are you talking about? Everything. Yeah. There's, I can't, I couldn't tell you in one sitting if it, there's so many things I've done wrong and have wrongs done to me and there's so many people I've hurt, so many bridges I've set fire to. There's nothing. I don't want to see all that at once and that's what it means. To quit entirely means facing everything at once, not one at a time like a normal human being. Right. But all at once, here you go. Everything you've been hiding from, now deal with it. Did you all you want to do is run. Did you experience that the last time you got sober? Yes. That's why I ran. And what was it like emotionally? It's overwhelming? Yeah. More than overwhelming. So that's your biggest fear is the, uh, the tidal wave of emotions that comes up um, when you get clean, right? Yeah. All right. Fears, thoughts, memories that I've suppressed. Right, right. All of it. Now, I've never been, like, sexually abused or anything. My parents were very cool. The worst I got was grounded. But I'm still out here in my time on the streets, been shot at, stabbed, fucking whole nine yards. I fucking remember laying on top of my, one of my exes while two black dudes... That's not the word I like to use, yeah, but right. un unfortunately I am a little racist. And you have to understand at this point that once you've been on the streets, you'll understand why. Anyways, two black dudes were doing their gang bullshit shooting across the street while me and my ex were just laying there doing nothing, trying to sleep. And I had to lay on top of her while bullets fucking going, yeah, PTSD. Yeah. What, uh, what happened with the, what's the story being stabbing? I used to sell methamphetamine to support my heroin habit. Yeah. And I used to uh, sell out of this bar that my ex, one of my exes, her name was Ashley, but everyone called her Smashley, because she was one of those bartenders who'd be like, one for you, one for me. Get fucking toasted every night. Anyways, I used to sell meth out of the bar when she was working. This was in Santa Barbara. And uh, one night, I think I had about $40 left of dope in my pocket and fucking all the money I'd made that night. And for some reason, and I never usually did this, I gave her most of it saying, here, Ashley, take this home, because obviously two o'clock rolls around, customers gotta leave, but the bartender's gotta fucking uh, clean up all that. So she wouldn't come home till like three. So I'm like, all right, here, take the money I made tonight. And she's all, yeah, I'm, I'll take it home. I don't know why I said that, this one night in particular. And I'm all, I had a couple bucks left, though, because I wanted to get something to eat at 7-Eleven on the way home or something to kind of sober up. Because I would drink and sell meth all night and then buy heroin and then go home. Anyways, I came out of the bar and these two Mexican dudes come up to me and they're all, hey man, let me get a 20. So they must have seen me. Now, I was kind of new to the drug trade, so I just would sell to anybody not suspecting undercovers, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. I never got caught in that respect, but just the same, I was stupid in that sense. I should have thought. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm all, yeah, sure, man, and I take out a 20 and I'm all, you know, one hand has the, the dope, the other has the handout for the 20. The guy pulls out a knife instead. He goes, give me all your money and all your shit. And I'm like, no, because I'm all drunk and shit. Right. When I should have just been like, yeah, dude, here you go. I got 40 bucks worth. Fuck you, you know? No, I was all drunk and bravado. So I'm all, no, fuck you, dude. No, you know? 
You weren't scared? Didn't think he was gonna, no, I didn't think. I was drunk. Right. I did not, and high, I did not think on heroin. I did not think he was gonna stab me. I did not. Right. It never even crossed my mind. I was like, this is Santa Barbara. He's not gonna do that oh, shit. Santa Barbara. Yeah. He's not gonna really do it. He's just pulling it. He's gonna run. Right. Nope. It's right there. Now, I didn't get gutted like this, so I wouldn't be talking to you. It was in and out, and they had to go in and operate, sew up my pancreas and stomach. But, that's Jeez. why the scar's so... Wow. But anyways, he got my $40 worth of meth. And anyways, the cop said later, I got up after being...